Meteorologist Kevin Robinson with the what would be the back to school forecast in about three or four weeks, but not yet. Morning forecast. Hey, good evening, you guys. Yeah, we've got rain headed our way. It would be a wet start to school if we were starting it up tomorrow around the area because it looks like we're going to have rain to contend with for the morning commute. First thing as you get ready to head out the door. Radar has been pretty quiet. It hasn't been a bad evening around here. Uh, we had the mostly cloudy skies, but we managed to really stay relatively dry aside from a few sprinkles here and there. That's starting the change though. Here's a look at the radar. Here's what's happening tonight. We've got a couple of pockets of showers developing now on the southeast side of town here, anywhere from out near Anderson Township over towards Amelia and Batavia. This is still all very light. Same story as you head over into Adams County from West Union back into Brown County over around Ripley and then back near the Maysville area. But I want to expand the radar view and I want to draw your attention to something here. Notice you're starting to see more colors on the radar south of Owenton back down in the direction of the Louisville area. That's because we're starting to see some heavier downpours develop. And if you look, you're even beginning to see some lightning as well. So I would not be at all surprised here within the next few hours. If you look down in the southern sky, you might begin to see a couple of flashes of lightning as notice this rain is beginning to increase in coverage and intensity. And I think this will continue while we sleep tonight. So we're in the 70s now. I expect our temperatures to fall through the 60s by morning. And yes, I do expect rain to be falling and some of it could be heavy in locations. We're looking at another storm system tonight that's basically going to cruise along the Ohio River the next two days. And if you look at the satellite, you can see how this area of rain is beginning to kind of align itself along the Ohio River. So I expect more widespread rain to develop here overnight tonight and into at least early Tuesday, but rain chances are really going to stick around essentially through Wednesday for us. And you already know this. It's pretty humid out and that's not going to change over the next week. So 75 degrees right now at the airport. There's the dew point of humidity, both of which are on the higher end of the spectrum. Temperatures haven't changed much this evening. Most of us are still close to 70 degrees. Of course, it's a little bit warmer here in the urban areas. Hamilton here in Cincinnati, Florence at 73 at 74 in Georgetown. A few areas, especially down in southeast Indiana, have dipped into the upper 60s. So with dew points between 65 and 70, some of these downpours will be efficient rainmakers. And again, while I'm not really worried about severe weather, there could be pockets of heavy rain towards morning. So overnight lows not going to fall much, generally between 65 and 70. And then tomorrow with the clouds around, temperatures will be held down once again. We'll struggle. I know it's the end of July, about to be August, so it's unseasonably cool, but that will be offset by the high levels of humidity, so it won't feel quite as comfortable as it actually should. Here's a look at future cast. Notice as we go through the night again, you can see how rain begins to become more widespread and this is at 7 a.m. So yeah, your morning commute tomorrow could be a little tricky with locally heavy areas of rain, maybe in a few rumbles of thunder probably. And then it looks like the second half of the afternoon, we kind of start to dry out a little bit, but I'm still going to keep the thread in there for a few pockets of showers and storms even into the evening. But overall, the trend will be for it to start to decrease once the sun goes down tomorrow night and then I I think we'll do it again on Wednesday, at least with some form of scattered showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening. So the rain's going to become more on as we head into the overnight hours as it stays muggy will fall to around 68 and then tomorrow pockets of rain, especially early in the day, it will be the most widespread and then I think it becomes more hit and miss as we get into the evening, only upper 70s. Here's your day planner. So it looks wet through the first half of the day, but the chance is there for rain almost any time, honestly, between now and really Wednesday afternoon and evening. Here's your seven day forecast as we start to dry out the second half of the week heading into the weekend. We get into early August. That, of course, means with more sunshine, hotter temperatures, and we'll climb out of these comfortable 70s back closer to 90 by the weekend. Kevin, thanks so much. All is quiet on the field tonight for the rest.